Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. Shane. Joy. We are back with Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Now, Joy, you have seen Fury Road. I have. I have. It's been a couple of years. Yeah. Um, I remember watching it. Shane's like, we have to watch this movie. I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. And I remember you thought it was pretty weird. And by the way, you're joining us for the first time. This is my wife. Hello. Uh, you know, Zach, I've been doing this for a long time, but, you know, she is in some things. So thank not you for being this. A, yeah, not this. No. Um, we were watching movies and talking about it. <laughs> yeah. But not um, in this format. Yeah. Uh, you haven't watched a movie with us, have you? Never. So this is a first for me here. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I remember watching... a different watching, beast. I remember not watching... everyone can do it. Well, we'll see how I do. No. Um, anyway, so I remember watching it, and I just remember the entire time, like, it was one of the most action-packed movies I've ever seen in my entire life, where I was literally on the edge of my seat thinking, is this ever going to slow down? Mm -hmm. Like, I just remember, like, the, the race they were doing out in the freaking desert, and, like, all the... Just, so much going on with, you know, the attacky or, you know, all the attacks and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just crazy. It's, 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 I think it's my second or third favorite action movie I've ever seen in my life. And I think if someone said it's the greatest action movie ever made, uh, I would, I would probably say, yeah, I can't argue. And also, I, I actually haven't seen any of the other Mad Maxes with Mel Gibson either. I don't know if you have. I have. And I don't know if it's been confirmed that Fury Road was a reboot or a continuation because there was some discussion online that I read I don't know in what order you know compared to what's been discovered and confirmed but yeah the where they were kind of um, postulating that maybe the name because he might be the kid from one of the other movies okay uh, so if you haven't seen the originals yeah I haven't it, are they anything you like couldn't make that connection. are they anything like Fury Road are they well Fury I mean for their time yeah they're probably pretty, yeah okay I mean, it's comparable but yeah. Fury Road was an action movie of our time, more or less. Yeah. So you could, it's like that on steroids. But we do know at least that this movie is a prequel to Fury Road. Yes. So. That, that's one thing I did know. Uh, obviously, Charlie Theron was not in it. I know it's Anya Taylor Joy. Mm -hmm. um, I just love Fury Road so much. I think, I mean, I liked all the characters, but I, I really ended up falling in love with Nux. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just like this kind of pathetic dude of a character, and then he ends up kind of coming through. He ends up. You know, and he ends up, well, he ends up dying the way he wants to die, too, right? He yeah. says, remember me or witness. He says, witness me, but yeah. he doesn't scream it. Yeah. He whispers it to Capable. Mm. Yeah. Because he fell in love with her. Just, you know, before, he wanted to make an example of himself for Morton Joe. Yes. Because he was kind of like their god figure. Or yeah. Father figure. God. And What's a crazy guy. I know. <laughs> Mediocre. Old Joe, you know. <laughs> and, but then in the end, he finds out that he wants, you know, her to remember, witness me. Yeah. Her. So. Did you have a favorite character in it? Well, it was Max. Yeah, I mean, I love Max. I mean, even uh, Furiosa, like... No, they're uh, good. Yeah, yeah, everyone was just a great character. And mm -hmm. and just the visual and the ceremony of, of, uh, of, like, when they're going to war, the guy with the drums, the guys who were in front of, like, they were... Like, the musical guys are in front, right? The guy playing, playing the guitar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was like, hung up dude. on his, like, bungee cords. Yes, yeah. I and, remember uh, that. Yeah. He's, like, he's just dangling up there playing his guitar. He's while just he's insane. Yeah, it's fucking it great. is insane. Yeah. yeah. What's well, supposed to be, like, amp, you know, it's amped up. Amped up, it's hyper-violent. Yeah. You know, like, I know you haven't seen Dread. There's another one you guys need to watch. Yeah. This trio needs to watch Dread. Yeah, I haven't, haven't seen that. I heard it was great. I okay. heard it was great and underwatched. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, uh, you can go to Patreon and see the full length uncut reaction to this and all that we do. And we also have four weeks early access. Let's jump in. Here we go. Domain. How must we brave its cruelties? This is like that place they went to when they parked. I mean, I just know that because it was blue and it was like night. It was like kind of cold colors. Green place. Furiosa! Uh oh. Stay very still. That's a drop to the fucking ground. Oh, that's Be invisible. Oh, well, that'll come back. Be invisible. Why even, why even go down there, you know? Uh why would you, wouldn't you want them to move on? Or right. Stranded there with you? Well, I guess if they got away. Dude, they, go. Oh, if they were, yeah, I know, around the other way where you wouldn't fucking see. Yeah, but the camera wouldn't work yeah. with the camera. <laughs> oh, no. God dang. Uh, we need a whistle, Zach, so <laughs> in case something happens out here. Do that? Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Damn. Uh. Uh, that fucking well-fed son of a bitch right there. That's all I'm saying. This is the apocalypse. <laughs> She's living good, baby. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. It should not be the case. <laughs> yeah. I guess they're just showing it's a lush green place where people can just grow fat. She didn't She didn't grab her gun, I'll tell you that. No, she didn't. <laughs> oh, they have her. Oh, my gosh. God dang it. The horse. What? What the hell? That's messed up. Okay, so, wow, she was captured as a girl. I think we knew that. Did we know it? Yeah, it said she was taken from the green place as a young girl. Okay. Oh my god. I guess I was hoping there's a little more to it here. Well, the adventure doesn't have to be just all about what the green place is like. Yeah. She might be one of the women from uh, Fury from, Road. Yeah. No, you need information. This poor man's Tuscan Raider. Oh. Alright, I guess we're not getting information. Yeah, get on there, go. <laughs> yeah, get on get there. Get on there. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get her. Get her. <laughs> There'll be no bike without the fucking fuel line cut on. You watch. Nemen, trace about to be the quest of lock. Book it, lady. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Go. Like, they. I don't know how these apocalyptic sons of bitches know how to tie such good knots. <laughs> so all they do yeah, is man. fucking raid and capture, though. That's probably the only thing they can do. <laughs> <laughs> It's apocalyptic son of bitches. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? She's buried in the sand. Oh my gosh. That's smart. Bone rider! Bone rider. Look at <laughs> Your legs, man. Oh, yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> I honestly have a uh, Akiba. No, we just all four. I've never seen someone. Johnny. Like Johnny, yeah, Johnny. Oh my gosh, look at her head right there. Oh! Okay. Mouthful of Goline. She can't use the fuel <gasps> or the bike. Why? Well, they stole the fuel tank, was the uh, idea, I think, yeah. to slow her down. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, hurry up. Why couldn't she use hers anymore? It's right around of fuel. I figured it'd be easier to siphon it than it would be to switch wheels and everything else. Uh, now they're in the dark. Well, she didn't have a tank. Let's see what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh. God, these raiders. She fouled us. She fouled us. <laughs> oh. Hey! What are you doing? God, I, get it back! <laughs> I thought you crippled it. I did! <laughs> I did! Who's coming for us? It's a crappy Oscar, I, Oscar Isaacs. Huh? Get your father! It's the girl! That's all he wants! What do we tell the mentors? Once he sees her, he's going to ask, where's she come from? And we're going to be the ones to tell you. No one's going to scum us anymore. No one's going to scum us anymore! That piece of filth! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to chase someone like that. Like sideways. <laughs> 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 Dude, she's booking it. I, he ain't gonna catch her. No. You go, girl. Ah! Uh, he might. Yeah. Shoot. Riding on that sand, like, what would that would be like? Well, I mean, they've got off road tires. It's like a dirt bike. You yeah. Know what I mean? it's... Oh, shit. You better hurry up. Jeez. What the fuck? See that huge thing in the background? Yeah. Well, uh, it was like a... Oh, f... <laughs> nice. How? Sorry, mate. You get it, girl. Dementus! He was asshole. You got here, Tiger Jam. I speak only to Dementus. Hands off! Oh. Where did you get it? Give her back! Give it to me, I'll take it to him. A place of abundance! It's got everything! Thought the bullet was coming. Where are you from? Huh? That one eye is yeah. gonna win her over. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That hat. That yeah. hat is really selling. Yeah. <laughs> I wish she would have hustled a little bit and not did so much. Man, 
Princess! And look what I found. Jeez. Put a nose on him, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Who do we have here? What's your name? She's from a place of abundance. May I? Mm -hmm. Organic mechanic. It's got everything. How do you know that? A rude Billy told me. And where is he? Bring him in. It had everything, right? Water, food, everything. Ah. Draw a map! Draw an arrow! Draw an arrow! He really doesn't look like himself, does he? No, he does not. Who is that? Chris Hemsworth. It they gave him a nose. It doesn't look like him at all. Crazy ass woman. I mean, I thought so, but he doesn't look like him. You can tell it's him. Do not he just changed his nose. Well, you're so a hard her hair. day, huh? aren't you? An awful day. You must be exhausted. There's only one thing I need you to do, and that is rest. Just rest. Tomorrow, I'll take you home. I'll follow the tracks that brought you here, and I'll take you home. Feed her, wash her, use our best drinking water. At the Rockland deal. Scorpion King. I don't know much about that movie, so... Scorpion King, I mean... I know the movie. I yeah. remember his fight with Memnon, and I remember... Like, there's a storm a-brewing. I think these people would just know way before a sandstorm even came. Imagine never having fruit in your life. What the hell is this? Step up. Nice. Please. I'm a mother too. No, you're not. I will say nothing. Not a word. Kill her. She's gonna betray you. Well, she has to, almost. In her circumstances. Maybe, like, wait, like, ten minutes or something. Like that guy in Minority Report. Shut! Shut! Dumb Shut! Bitch. Shut! Shut! I can't believe she's still right. <laughs> oh. On your head. Oh, no. Try to soak in the clothing, my Oh, no. It took that much fuel to get where they're at. I know. I have a hard time believing she's enough now to get back. Right. You know, for one, we know that if you shoot a gas can, it doesn't blow up. Yeah. You're bleeding. Oh, do you hear that? Just go. Move your ass. <laughs> that nose. I don't know why they did the nose. Yeah, why? I don't know. Like, he's fine without the nose. <laughs> I don't understand why they had to put a nose on him. If I don't find you in one day, go home. No, no. Take your bearings from the sun and stars. When there is wind, use it to cover your tracks. <laughs> Yuri, I suck. You are Valvolini. You will do as I ask. Plant this seed. Protect the green place. Why can't they go together? She needs to distract him. Slow yeah. him down. Yeah, she knows they're coming. Aww. Bike will use less fuel with yeah. only the girl on it. Let's go. That's why you lost him the first time. <laughs> oh, my little feet. We need Kevin McAllister. Just fucking book it, Joe. Come just, on. Just go. Please, Gus. You're fucking it up. You're fucking up the plane. <sighs> go around! Go around! Oh. 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 Damn it. <laughs> Woo! Jeez. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, kid. Your death's gonna be in vain if you don't go. We well, you know she doesn't die. She's your mother. Perfect. Where are you from? Tell me where you came from and we will cease and desist. Don't look away. We mustn't look away. You had your chance. History man, a word burger, please. Tears. Human tears. The secretions of the lacrimal gland containing oils, salts, proteins, and stress hormones. The tears of joy and those of sorrow have different chemical composition. Yes, the sorrow is more... quaint, zesty. Thanks. 
Jeez, please. Well, toe jam. Fucking toe jam. I wonder what our names would be in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Rock's the name you got, man. Yeah. Now your followers must oh, fight over who gets to kill you. I would have welcomed you. Everyone would have brought you in. Today, we do the five bike teddy. The five bike teddy. <laughs> Even has like a different expression. Mm -hmm. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. Gee. You might want to close your eyes. Yeah, you could call this if you want. It belonged to my little ones. Why don't you just keep him safe? <laughs> it looks so funny with that fucking name. Start your engines! Is this some kind of traitor or something? Um, I'm gonna make an example of him. I think he had a Lamont revolver. Make yourself invaluable, and Dementis will look after you. Astro navigation. A determination of one's course by reference to the stars. So is she mapping out the stars as she goes along, probably? Mm -hmm. well, one of those. All the reins to go on a chariot. <laughs> what? See him? He's only got a chariot. He's on the reins. <laughs> <laughs> Mush. If I can go holla! Poor oh boy. We're looking for a place of abundance. What's abundance? <laughs> abundance. Plentifulness. Having a copious quantity of something. What's copious quantity? A lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff. Look <laughs> <laughs> at these. They're the sky blood. They called you to me. <laughs> Every biker that survived the apocalypse is here now. It's all coming back to Is that me. big bucket? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is here to lay siege on you. Listen carefully to his words. It is red. All who protect and honor this, you have a choice. Bring me your leaders and throw them down. Ooh. They can't lay siege to that place though. Like, it's so high up and. We don't have the resources. No one's ever done it before, yeah. Hey, Morton Joe. Here's the oh. people eater. Which one? Got the right. big fat guy. Oh, yeah. With the gas mask on his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Because Mr. Norton really hates big shots. <laughs> we more than has a request among all his warriors assembled here. Choose one. Why would I do that? For this negotiation to go further, you must choose the random. What if I choose not to choose? Then you'll never know the truth. <laughs> My smag will choose. <laughs> Kill himself. You are a winter. Witness me! That'd be fucking tough to do. Yeah. He killed himself? Mm -hmm. Just. Kamagazi. These would die historic for the immortal Joe. That's why you fools. Yellow! <laughs> I am Scrotus! That guy needs to be Wallen Goggins. <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm going to kill you! <laughs> damn! I think he wouldn't have enough of those damn hooks. Oh no. That's terrible. Hi! 
Oh god. I'm dragging your hole. Good lord, dude. That's uh, quite horrible. This is, these hooks are just so accurate. They're just swinging That's around. That's all they do, man. <laughs> yeah, but who, how many times do they get practice? They probably run all kinds of drills. <laughs> yeah. Morton Joe they just have to. lines them up. <laughs> Same as me. We're tough. Kind of like how Hook is to Jack and the daughter. Mm -hmm. That was an intense scene. Yeah. I know everyone understands the assignment. Like, all right, I need you to run over there and do yep. this and act crazy. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are those what's left of these guys become those bike riders that we see in Fury Road? The ones in the beginning? That no, the ones that she tries, she makes a deal with in the mountains. Oh yeah, in the mountain pass. Yeah. I'm not getting that horrible now. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> that is such a fucking funny thing he does right there. Serious? I know. How do you... In the kind of... Remove your helmet and jacket. I take orders from the octopus. Huh? Yeah, do what he says. Questioning my boss already. My boss already. Come on. to be a war boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. They're gonna act like they were like, yeah. if they capture them or something? Or, or, yeah, or, or act, act, act like them. So they can try to infiltrate, probably. Okay. Something's off. The guy in there painting, he looks like a pirate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Shit. I don't think he got to finish his painting. <laughs> Did not. Dementus wants to talk. The Red Dementus commends you on your lifestyle and for agreeing to these trade negotiations. <laughs> This is how you save Gastown. <laughs> and the six figure code exists only in the brain of Dementus. He wants double! One full tank of water for half a tank of gasoline! Can't do that, not possible. Then he gets a spike in the nose. <laughs> double the mother's milk and double the hydro. Oh, uh, they were uh, pierced and chained up in Fury Road. Give him what he wants! The wasteland won't sustain it. Run the numbers. Please, my boy. My brother. Can't hold this much longer. Oh, you idiot. I've forgotten the numbers. <laughs> the pleasure flushed them clean out of my head. <laughs> I'll never do that again, comrades. I'm a man with a fragile brain. That is my daughter, little D. She looks nothing like you. Yes, well, she has her mother's perfections and none of my deficiencies. Where's the mother? Magnificent woman. Fierce, intelligent, taken so cruelly protecting this little one from marauders. She looks pale. You look pale. She's perfect. <laughs> it's not like the genetic absurdities you have for sons. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to stay here in the citadel? Huh? Then you could become one of our wives. No, she's my daughter. The bonding of dynasties. Her whole life I've protected her. No. You'll be bonded by blood. No, she's not for sale. She's mine. <laughs> Is he your father? No. <laughs> he slaughtered my mother. True, that is true. And I can tell you it made this child tough, tough enough to survive all sorrows that may come her way. I did that for her. I did that for her. I will increase your shipment of water, but only by a third. I will take this girl who is not 
your daughter, and also him. Otherwise, it's war. Oh. Hold my teddy bear back. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Yeah. You behave. I'll behave. I'll protect Gastown from all treachery. It will be as impenetrable as this citadel. Henceforth, I will be addressed as the Great Dementus. What a day. What a deal. What a day. They put the nose on him for the purpose of that side shot profile. Yeah, shot, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You're pale. She's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it a boy? Sorry, boss. The fudge. Please let me stay. Don't fret, no. You'll make an excellent milker. Morton Joe just is having, doesn't have a good uh, shit in his ball sack, you know. Yeah. He's not really producing well. Ah. Uh, been there sawing around here, fucking. Making a wig. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> I think it's been her trick the whole time. Dude, I feel like you get executed for fucking with more than Joe's chicks. So, what are you doing in there? Jesus. She's gonna be clinging to something fierce. Uh, at some point. The wind would knock that off. Jeez. That would fuck your day up, man. You! Yeah. No, so they don't take any kind of like census on she would just disappear and they wouldn't look for her and well, they obviously made it look like some a good amount of time has passed so they skipped over that yeah, yeah. this is a really well shot mm -hmm. uh. uh huh I like the grace. You're the new dogman. <laughs> Is that the job of the dude who just fell to his death? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still why? You sound like an orc. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? What's Tommy's brother's name? What is that? Oh, mm -hmm. Piggy Blinders. Yeah. Told you. I mean, me. looks like Anya Taylor Joy over there. Yeah, it's her. No? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's her. If it is, I'm shocked. I think it's her. We are going to put this all together. We are going to build something beautiful. And we're Immortal. You're this is their trade school for mechanics. Yeah, is, is this what it was like for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. It's definitely her now. He's mute. Where have I seen you before? Oh. He's a dogman. Oi! We've got work to do! We will call it the Bomby Knocker. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where. She's going to start looking like a chick, you know, yeah. a silhouette. Yeah. Zach used to carry me around like that <laughs> like before I grew up. Crazy brothers, she is a mighty thing. Bigger, faster, stronger. Also talk about her, like, you know, symbolically. Her... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's funny that they waste that gas. They could just like turn around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks really fucking cool, don't get me wrong. <laughs> really fucking cool. <laughs> a lot of it has to do with all the rampant testosterone going on there, too. <laughs> well, I imagine in this type of world, it'll only be those type of people who would really survive and pass on as oh, I get it. strong. They're doing, yeah, so well, these strong people. Well, yeah. <laughs> <But they're> like, <laughs> they're not stand out, but they're... They ride with the not anymore. Who is this guy? Playing Praetorian Jack. Stuck over there. I know. That tanker wasn't on Fury Road either. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Fucking great. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! shit. Oh, I remember now. They spray their mouths. I don't yeah, know why. The chrome yeah. 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 Not the potatoes. 
Damn it. Jeez. I really wonder how these are made. The fans. I think I'd be pretty good at throwing it. We need a short hose and clamps! Short hose! It'd be nuts making Just, those repairs under those circumstances. I know. That's crazy. Oh, God. Gave the hose up though. You did. Oh, that's not good, Zachary. No, it's not. Need to book it and keep her loose clothing away from that drive shaft. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> that guy doesn't look very nervous, I'll tell you that. Calm under pressure, man. <laughs> Settle down. Not good. <laughs> Sitting there with the cabbage. I wonder if they, they ever like eat some of it. <laughs> you know. I think they would. They're not supposed to. Help but yourself. They're so devoted though too. You know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. This bottle. Oh. Yeah, girl. Damn it. Oh, dude. So oh, fuck tired. <laughs> I guess he can get away if you get rid of it. But... Yeah. <laughs> gonna give her up. No. That'd be great if he didn't. <laughs> he's probably so shocked. But he's calm. <laughs> he even if he's shocked, he can't even tell. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Ah! Amen. <sighs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is they got that little person <laughs> because it's weird and funny yeah you know <laughs> the technically thing because yeah. the octoboss it yeah. makes sense now you think you should just keep her hair short as a just in case yeah yeah well, it wouldn't make a good reveal true there would be no reveal but the idea is supposed to be that she's a girl she's yeah. a liability but she's also very capable yeah oh that's leg no oh! Bobby knocker, let's go! Come on, turn it on! Ah! Oh, I didn't even get to do the bobby knocker. Oh. Hey, but he probably ran down there to... Yep. Oh. Yeah. Gosh. Very little visual. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Damn it, Cabbage Man. He's a Cabbage Patch Kid. Yeah. That's all I wanted. The dead cabbage patch kid. Aww. Yep. Imagine one of those in a package. Yeah, I was just out of the way. You know? <laughs> Pull over. Stop! Oh. Oh. Okay, then. He's got a mission. He can. Mm -hmm. I always get it done. I mean, also. Ah! We'll stop. Makes her wait and drops the fuel off and comes back and picks her up. Hey, well, she's free. Why are you free to go where? <laughs> yeah, like she. I, mean, I guess it's better. I would. Go, I'd rather go out there than be raped. So just let me die and let the buzzards get me. Yeah. Or lizards or whatever the fuck's out there. If you're running away from the citadel, believe me, the bullet farm is a whole lot worse. 
It's been a hard day. I lost my convoy. I'm gonna have to start again. And I'm driving off thinking I ought to start with you. You may be raw, but you have a bad chip of purposeful savagery. A purposeful savagery. <laughs> I like it. No questions asked. No. Keep it. You'll need it. Uh, Trust. A good dude. Mm -hmm. How tall is that guy on the right? Be a lot less light pollution. You and me, little day. It's all that she's keeping her head. Yeah, because you just draw attention to anyone else who sees you. It's not good. Cool. That piece of anus pasta mentis is running gas town into the ground and blaming everyone but himself. Here's the boomstick you asked for. The solid off because uh, Mel Gibson carried one. So he's doing all the runs for Joe, yeah. and she just has to stay stay secret. Get free to go. Food, water, wheels, whatever you need. I'll help you put it together. I think it'll be a very difficult thing to do because you can definitely tell she has breasts. Yeah. <laughs> Good looking rig. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone would be proud to have that rig and over the top. <laughs> like a dog. We have to put things right. I wonder how long it's been. Ten years? Probably like ten, yeah, he's grey also. Are you in charge here? You can speak to me. Yeah. Everyone's saying they're being swindled and short-changed. Everyone's saying it's my fault. <laughs> well, you better go. We're not leaving without our tank is full of gas. Good lord. Mm -hmm. Rain of place in the ground, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a hell of a stunt. Because it could go wrong pretty, you know what I mean? God. High noon, the Citadel, three days from now. Be punctual. <sighs> oh, that's pretty long. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's tough. You give him a full tank of water and 2,000 ticks of mother's milk, and then you return empty handed. Filched us. We've been filched. Let's kill him right now. Should have done it long ago, Dad. Should have crushed him down. And I will blow him from the face of the earth. How do we do that before he blows up Gas Town? We'll build it again. That'll take generations, you moron. <laughs> we will build it again. I want every bullet and firearm, every caliber and size, your entire infantry ready to pick up. I'm surprised they don't seize her character just simply the fact she's a woman, you know? Yeah. I mean, she just made such a name for herself that they I'd allow her... Big, because of Praetorian Jax. Yeah. You know, his reputation. Oh, PJ. <laughs> yeah, because of his reputation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his, she's his protege. This place, at the end of your map of secrets, where is it? My mother and father were soldiers. Even as the world fell, they yearned to be warriors for a virtuous cause. I want to help you find this place, wherever it may be. It's so hard to keep that fucking thing in there, you <laughs> think. Yeah, because just the life they live, you know? A seed. You only do this place seed. It is too late. She looks back, the camera pans back, and it's Arnold. <laughs> with the fucking long hair and <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> you drive the V8. I drive the war rig. Not today. The day you drive Pursuit. He knows it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Sounds ominous. <laughs> the dog's there. Oh my gosh, he knew. Didn't he? He knew. Eek! Well, well, she got out of there. Book it, lady! She didn't do it last time, though, remember? Oh, 
It's pretty impressive range for a solid off shotgun. It seems like a longer it's a close, so, it's solid a close, off it's, shotgun. <laughs> it's a close range weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the brass casings, though. Oh, oh, oh good oh, shot. Oh. That's the shot I've seen. That's cool. Yeah. This music's slow. It's like gladiator music. <laughs> and something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, better gather. Jesus. <gasps> He's gonna distract them. He's gonna drive the truck into them so she can get away. Oh my goodness. That was a hell of a stunt. <laughs> I thought the bike was gonna flip over him, but. She's doing what she did with her mom. Yeah. <laughs> She's stopping and thinking and. Huh? That thing's a fucking huge rig, too. I mean, it will be hard to take down. I know all their people are dead, but I still think they're dead. Hello. <laughs> Put the switch in the cab this time. Yeah. There he is. Fuck. What a it was a great Great moment. Yeah. It was. I don't understand why her semi-automatic rifle has to be operated like a bolt action. That's so it's rather the feed, I guess. <clears throat> God damn bullets! <laughs> what a that was just mm -hmm. that was just sweet. <laughs> That's something they do in the Fast and the Furious movies, like all the time. <laughs> it's nuts. You still got his cape thing. It was white. We're good. I can't believe I got her. Me too. I just wish she didn't say we're good. Why? Because they're not gonna be good. That means we're not good. What I like about him, he's like this charm to him. You know, like he would. You, he sounds competent, but obviously he's not. He's like a big buff Rob Zombie in this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those guys got to hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if fucking someone comes there when they're gone? Well, they I think they just... I don't know what the fuck their plans are. He may not even have a plan. Yeah. Maybe he has a lack of foresight, Shane. Yeah, well, I figured he does. I think... yeah, if he can't run the show, he has a lack of foresight. I always like their shots though. Yeah, they're just they're epic as hell. Just, yeah. How do they catch? Oh man! Come on. Now they're now they're that close. What? <laughs> yeah. Some shenanigans. Agreed. Maybe that thing has just just crazy horsepower. Or... Oh. 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 oh my cool. god! It's just fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's just cool. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, that's how it happens. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Shit. This is intense. Oh no. Damn it, Gus. Really. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they drive up. What are you doing, man? What is he trying to do? <laughs> See how they fought for each other, this little army of two. Where were they going? So full of hope. There is no hope. Not for them, not for you, certainly not for me. <laughs> this is not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You two break my heart. You break my heart. And it's not fair. It's the price I pay to be your leader. To survive in the wasteland, we cannot be soft. There must be retribution. Oh no. 
Draw and quarter him, you think? The thing they did when she was a little girl. Draw and quarter him. Yeah. Mm. But they did it to her. Maybe not. They're gonna drag him. I think in this world, no matter what, they would absolutely enslave the woman. Yeah. I agree. yeah. Other arm. It's just, it's, that's how it always historically was. He lost your touch. That guy could swing in a way where it could just tip that fucking motorcycle over. You do, but the momentum they generate from yeah. pulling him. Yeah. Drag! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so close. Jeez. A coyote in a fucking trap, man. Oh my gosh, she got away. Jeez. <laughs> <God. laughs> Fuck! <laughs> What's funny is it's kind of a fuck up, like, again on his own. Oh, no, it took the lugs tire. off! This... Go, girl! <laughs> like Max. That'd be a helpful thing, wouldn't it? It would be. Just have a little cameo. It doesn't have to show him, honestly. Mm -hmm. No, they will clean it. No, oh, yeah. Gladiator. Ah, oh, I'm right. I don't want to be right, Zach. What the fudge monkeys? That's... They're cannibals. Okay, so it's not Max. Oh! Ugh. Back to sleep. I'll make it nice for you. Ugh. You'll find peace here. <laughs> peace? <laughs> it's not very peaceful. All those limbs laying around. Oh my there. gosh. I am the Vitorian Furiosa! What happened to you? Oh! Jeez. Who found her and took her there? I know. Like Max, fool. Why would he do that? He's a good guy. He's just doing his shit. Well, I mean, it didn't look like she was in a good situation. He's taken the bullet farm and he's coming here next. How do you know that? They're coming with grappling hooks and ladders. He wants you to leave the Citadel exposed. So we stay here. Go to Gastown and crush him! That's my choice. We make him think we're going to Gastown. If you find him, he's mine. I, I like, I mean, Mortar Joe is a piece of shit. It, it's very clear in the, the sequel to this. Yeah. But uh, there's something cool. Like, he understands this world more than everyone else. Yeah, he does. Like, he is a... That's why he's actually running a successful a, operation. Yeah, I won't say he's a good leader, but he's <laughs> capable. I <laughs> just... He's good at keeping his own power. Yeah. Maintaining his power I, structure. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So gullible. <laughs> Profoundly in contempt. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, but he's, uh, I like that character oh, actually. I do too. Yeah. Time to take back what rightfully ours. So he sells the dream. If this world had direct marketing, he'd be, this is this version of it, right? <laughs> like selling the dream to everybody. Yeah. Here we go. It's going to be epic. You recognize that? Car, don't you? In the front? Yeah. No. It's one of Morton Joe's driving in oh. Jerry Road. Oh. North against south, east against west. The Battle of the Boom Towns. A 40 day wasteland war. 40 day. Dude. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. No, yeah. There goes her hair again. I've got a vehicle. She looks a lot more like her there. Yeah, she does. Isn't she wonderful? This is like when they go see Anakin's unfinished pod. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of junk. It's kind of like her, though. You know? Mm. I mean, how much water does everyone have? That's, you know, you're laying siege to a place that holds the water that doesn't need anything. You well, know, these bullets and gas. Yeah, but they just held up with their gardens and their water, everyone, you know what I mean? But they said to conserve gas, they had to shut down the pumps. She's out of here. I wonder if that guy knows. <laughs> what was that? That? is the darkest of angels. 
the fifth rider of the apocalypse. <laughs> I just want to be very confident after two guys drop so easily. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Someone confident and excessively resentful. What do you suppose <laughs> I want? Me, without my crew. Ambush him. No, no, no. We have to split up. Yeah, uh, no time for long goodbyes. We've done some mighty things together. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so for him to say that, does he know who she is? I don't know. He's just assuming he's the, the devotion that they're showing to chasing him down. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> I want to go. Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. All right. Oh, she's still there. Oh, my gosh. Her face. Ah. Nope. Oh. It's Zeb! Oh! Who? It's not even him. This dude. Damn not it. Not Dementus. Oh. Mm. What the fuck is this? Like a sink pit? Jeez. Like a sinkhole? Yeah. Jeez! Okay, that'd be a bad way to way. go. Be yep. a bad way to go. Because he's not dead. He's, just gonna be, he's gonna just be buried for five minutes. And Ugh. Die. Yeah. yeah. So resentful and extremely competent. Whatever he says doesn't matter than that. Competent and excessively resentful. I think so. <laughs> oh! I know he's fucked anyway. Okay. Ah! ah. <laughs> Swarm him. It's like high school, man. Oh, my. Mm. Oh. There's one eyed man. Uh huh. Mm. She's like, where did you go? <laughs> the sheer luck of that. Mm hmm. That's why I split up. But... Yeah. Yeah. An exceptional protein source to maintain his muscle mass <laughs> throughout all of this. Yeah. Took his wheel. You found me. You are a freak. You could have necked me in the night, but you didn't. Probably need to take the body back, too. Mm. <laughs> I have nothing. I am nothing. I'm yours. Oh, her only get that, that close. Yeah, hell yeah. no. Uh. You fabulous thing. <laughs> you crawled out of a pitiless grave deeper than hell. Only one thing's gonna do that for you. Hate. No shame in hate. Or shame. It's one of the great forces of nature. <laughs> that wasn't hope, that was instinct. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day I die. I've always wondered how. Fifteen years ago, there was a woman. Do you remember her? Mm. Do I get a clue? <clears throat> Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> redhead. Even a pew. Did she beg? Did she scream? The ones that yell the least tend to come up. Despite everything you did to her, she was magnificent. Ah, you were there. I want them back. Of course you did. I want them back. That's exactly how I felt. My own family, my own magnificent beauties, taken so unjustly, immutably. I'm right there. I'm right there with you. I too crave nothing but revenge. A big belly full of revenge. Uh, if I may. <laughs> I won't even hear the sound of the gun. I'll hear it. I'll hear it for the rest of my days. Of course you will. I'll feel the kickback in my hand. Sure. Brilliant. I'll be dead and you'll still be sorrowing your lovey-dovey and your mummy magnificent. You idiot. You can never balance the scales of their suffering. Give them back. I can't! What do you want, dear? Are my cries of anguish, anguish without end. If I could give you that, I would. <laughs> again? Do it again! What's happening? Seizuring, maybe? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Little D? Oh, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting 
There's someone like you somewhere. You do this, you do this right. You become me. I am nothing like you. You are me. To feel alive, we seek sensation, any sensation to wash away the cranky black sorrow. And it leaves us for a moment, but then it comes back. Do you have it in you to make it epic? She took away his voice, and they spent the rest of the day in silence. They claim that she ended him in ways more fitting. Deep in the citadel, high up in the hydroponic gardens, there is a tree unlike any other. Its soil is human. Uh, its nutrients, human. What? Maggots debriding his necrotic flesh. How does he still live? Ew. This is our first fruit, but it's not for you and me. Each of us, in our own way, will vanish from this earth. Fast forward. Yeah, that's okay. Ah. I was... Okay. It's a hell of an end. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Guys, that was a reaction? I now really, really, really liked it. it. Yeah. That was really good. No, I'm... You mentioned that you had heard it was better than Fury Road. I don't think so. Yeah, but I, don't I thought think, it was really good. Yeah, I don't think it was better than Fury Road either. I uh, it was it was less epic, and the action scenes weren't. It didn't reach the heights of the first or the one I saw, Fury Road. The action scenes didn't. Agreed. But, but the emotional heartbeat good. of her and the end actually brought it together to me. I thought it was just really good. Yeah, and I liked. Uh... You know, Dementis. I liked Chris Hemsworth. And yeah, De Dementis is like one of the most likable. Like that stuff at the end, like it really brought it home for me emotionally. Yeah. If that was really his end, it was a terrible, terrible end. It was a terrible end. And uh, it's awful. I mean, like, talk about leaving like the cap at the end of the movie to have go, okay, well, that's pretty crazy, you know? Ugh. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean. No more, no more muscles, no more nothing. <laughs> no, wasting away a tree to grow out of you. Yeah. I'm assuming, like, would you plant the tree up his ass? How would it, where, did the, where was the seed planted? You know what I mean? I don't know. And the idea... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just wondering... Can you plant a, a tree, a seed up someone's ass? I don't... Did you, like, cut them open? All you need at first them? is moisture, but then when it gets to a certain point, you do need light. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I feel like... Well, they cut them open? I feel open. like it wouldn't work, but I don't know. No, no, I, okay. <laughs> I don't anyway. know. He's a farmer guy. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. I don't, you know, we don't grow them that way. So. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think, honey? Yeah. No, I, I loved it. I loved being able to kind of see the beginning of the movie where she was there with her sister. Um, what they call that place that they were at? The Green? Just the, the green, green Place. The Green just Place. The green it's just simple easy. names. The yeah. Green Place. Yeah. But I mean, of course, that was, you know, traumatizing as a child getting taken away like that. And then her mother yeah. going after her and then them basically crucifying her I feel like in front of everyone so that was yeah it made her the warrior that she became yeah. and everything else did and the kindness of uh, Petroy and Jack also yes mm -hmm. made her so she wasn't like him yes. you know what yep. I mean like he gave her love and support and yep. you know fighting for something bigger than herself and self-sacrifice and mm -hmm. so that's why she is not like him yes. even though I think I, I yeah he, he honestly he gave one of the best performances in both two movies in terms of like, I was, like, kind of emotional for me. Yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah, when she just beat the shit out of him, she could not get what she wanted, and he just already accepted death a long time ago because, obviously, he lost probably his family in a terrible way. Well, it was just great to see him in that role. He was just enjoyable to watch. Yeah. He just, the whole way he's funny. He he's, was. Yeah. He's funny, and, and he... he's kind of complaining about his yeah. bitching. Yeah. I can't remember now what he said, but he was bitching um, when they caught her and Jack. Yeah. And me, yeah. <laughs> no happiness. Yeah. You, it, it, about? especially me. Yeah. It's yeah. About, you know, don't mess up my authority. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I looked way older. She did. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, well, she's been out there in the desert. They both have. Furious has been living there in the Citadel for a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Like maybe ten years. Ten years. Oh. And Charlie's their own. If we're gonna go by that, she's been like in, in what in their forties or fifties. Uh, was she supposed to be in the movie? Like, is Matt is Max supposed to be that old too? Because he rescued her. When she was then. younger. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Just be older mm -hmm. than her, evidently. 
I don't know. Yeah. Um, Tom Hardy's definitely younger than her. Yeah. Yeah. But he, hmm. Her favorite chapter. I don't know. I guess not really. Um, I overall. Stowaway was where she was revealed as a girl. Yeah, the stowaway right. is probably my favorite part. Yeah. That was good stuff, yeah. yeah. And that's we had some of the best action scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like this was trying to be more of like an emotional, singular story about a person that mm -hmm. I know the, the director ended up really falling in love with her character and wanting to tell more about it. Yeah. It didn't feel like he was trying to go more like bigger and better. I think he was trying to be like small and impactful. I think he succeeded in that way. Like I, I really liked her story. And now when I watch... Fury Road, it's, you know, the <laughs> character will mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I think she'll mean a little more to me. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I absolutely liked it. It, it. I kept trying to compare it at first to uh, Mad Max Fury Road mm -hmm. because to me that's one of the greatest Max action movies ever made that I've ever watched. Yeah, but did, did you notice anybody, any characters, anything that reminded you in this film of Fury Road? Anybody recurring characters, shit like that? Yes. Okay. And Morton Joe. <laughs> All right, and Morton Joe. Yeah, yes. I can't believe they got that guy to come back. He looks great. Well, it wasn't him. He died. <laughs> really? He died in 2020. What? Yeah, his wow. name, actually, I wrote wow. it down because I wasn't going to remember it. They did a good Hugh job. Keys Burns. Yeah. That guy played the original villain in the very first Mad Max film. And they it, brought him back for Fury Road. Exactly like him. Wow. To play a Morton Joe. Yeah. And he died in 2020, so they brought in, I don't know how to pronounce this name, Latchy or Lakey Hume. Yeah. Well, that, I thought the facial expression, I truly thought it was him. I was like, I'm Facial so... expressions, all you see is his fucking eyes. Well, he, ex... <laughs> it, the eyes. Even like Vader has facial well, I expressions. I can tell he wasn't as old. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But well, I'm like... I, I guess to me, I, I, I'm forward, so I guess I'm. Yeah, I was forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I was forward. Um, yeah. We also, okay, continuing. Um, we had. Rictus Erectus, big old pedophile retard guy. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that was. And I was uncomfortable seeing it. Yeah. Because especially the first film, I thought, okay, he's I the big... Like, I like your hair. Yeah, well, in the I first film... She, I thought it was just funny how she... <laughs> um, in Fury Road, Yeah. Nathan Jones, who I know from Troy, mm -hmm. he was just a big, dumb guy. Yeah, big, That's huge, That's basically all guy. he was in that movie. Yeah. He was big, dumbass, that like, pulled the engine out of the engine compartment and... <laughs> At the end of that truck, remember? Yes. When Nux dies? Yes. And then they crash and all that. Yeah. So now they've added another layer to that, and it's not a good layer. No, it so just uh, reinforces that he's a shitty guy. Yeah, he's obviously got the mind of a child, and it reflects yeah. on uh, what's yeah. happening in these circumstances. You think you'd figure, like, the idea of messing around with Immortan Joe's girls would be, like, uh, uh, like a federal crime? <laughs> yeah, but these guys are obviously. Like, do you think they get punished slow. for that? They're slow. Yeah, they're definitely slow. Yeah, something's happening here. They are not, obviously, they, they cannot, they their comprehension play. skills yeah. are not developed. No, they're not. Okay? We had Scrotus. We had Scabrous Scrotus. Yeah. Guy with the hairline. Yep. So we brought up Walton Goggins could have played. Yeah, right? yeah. I'll say that guy should have Walton Goggins. <laughs> okay, that actor okay. played the character named Slit in Fury Road. Slit was the character that wanted to take Nux's job in the car. Oh. Do you remember him? Yeah. They were fighting over the role, hmm. and they kind of had a little bit of a rivalry later in the film when yeah. they were on the road yeah. chasing the tanker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same actor. The People Eater and the Bullet Farmer. I'm very sure those are the same actors. I might be wrong about the Bullet Farmer. Okay. Now, do you guys remember the big fat guy? You mentioned the nipples. I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know the, the People Eater. That's him. Yes. Yeah. Got okay. it. Okay. I think... Yeah. What the hell is this? I can't remember that guy's name. I just looked it up before, but I didn't write it down. Okay. But um, that guy is the same actor from Fury Road. Okay. Now, the bullet farmer, I'm not positive. Yeah. But you know the guy had the bullets, yeah. guns, and shit all over him. And yeah. He, and then Fury Road, he gets blinded. Yeah. He's like, all right, the, the scales of justice. And yes. He's out there and he's <laughs> yeah, the crazy asshole. I did read something about how how you see his cape in this movie. It's how it's portrayed. Yeah, Plus it starts white. with white. And then it, then it gets red. Stained. Yeah. yeah. And then it's black by the well, end of it. Well, it's red and black, and then it's black. Yeah. 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 And so it's, I, yeah. I read somewhere that it's kind of like a, um, mm -hmm. a visual representation of his descent into madness. Mm -hmm. okay. Because when you see when he kills Praetorian Jack, mm -hmm. yeah, that he's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. yeah. The focus is on him. It's not on Jack. 
Yeah. You're right. And he's just sitting there like yes. zoning out. He does look mad. That shit's cool. <laughs> well, he's just sitting there yeah. just staring off. Yes. Mm-hmm. And eating or something. And then he goes, okay, that's enough. Yeah, he just, that's enough. Yeah. And then like he's literally, it makes it seem like he's just yeah. losing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, one thing I want to say is I loved his character in this. Like, I understand he was a piece of shit, but like, he was so enjoyable. I loved his performance. His performance was funny, and he, he the prosthetic, yeah. like, I don't know why they did that, but he gets lost in the role. Like, to me, he was just fantastic. He was amazing. He was well, funny. He, he and... had all the best lines. Yeah. yeah. He had the funniest lines. Yes. Yep. And, <laughs> dude, he just, it was fantastic. Like, his role in this, like, really made the movie, and I, I hate to say that, because I feel as though this movie did not live up to Fury Road. Fury yeah. Road was much more action, action-packed. Yeah. yeah. And just in terms of a a post-apocalyptic nightmare. Yeah. Like, that lived up to it, and this film was more like, okay. Yeah, that movie was, like, on steroids. It was... I I mean, I I will say, I I feel like this movie was trying to do something different, and I I didn't know that. So I expected... Like, I I expected to be bigger. Well, I get that, but this movie almost... Because it was doing that... Yeah. It was in this, like, a pretty similar setting. Yeah. And it it, it it didn't have the room to grow, though, because it it couldn't outdo Fury Road, because, Mm -hmm. you know, obviously we know that she becomes an Imperator... Yeah. Or Morton Joe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I almost feel like this should have been condensed and shortened mm-hmm. and told in an episodic series or something because it did not... I, I feel like Anya Taylor-Joy did an excellent, yeah. did strong job. role, yeah. and yeah. I have no complaints. Yeah. I just feel as though as a movie that it did not do her or the story justice. You know what I'll say is, uh, I mean, an episodic feature of a series of this would just be awesome. But... Uh, when I show these movies to anyone, I'm going to definitely do the prequel first. And then I'm going to go with Fury Road. Yeah, you have to escalate. Yeah. Because it, I think you can't need, give them the good shit first. Yeah. Man. yeah, I think it needs the escalation. It just, it's because the first, I mean, Fury Road to me didn't have, this one to me had more of an emotional heartbeat. I don't want to say that because Fury Road did too. It did. Well, you look at what happened with the women. Yeah, with the women and obviously Nux. I love Nux. <laughs> I love them. You're allowed to. And, I, I don't. Yeah. Nux is fine with me. Yeah. I don't dislike. Yeah. My thing with Nux is just I feel as though the overarching story of the Mad Max saga. Yeah. I am not stopping to give Nux a lot of thought. Yeah. I don't want to. Now, if you can give me a good story that says, okay, this is worthwhile and okay, let's do it. I have heard rumors that maybe they will go that route. I, uh, I, I think it's best that they stick with the main line. And I actually heard just to make any money, they might not make any for a while anyway. So maybe not. I mean, the wasteland. I mean, I because the wasteland exists beyond kind of some remainder of normal society. Yeah. And the first film where Max starts, it's kind of on the fringes, let's say, of Australia, probably in some nicer communities where the aspects of the wasteland are kind of, you know, reaching out. Okay. And touching and uh, darkening. Oh, so the first couple, they're not... Like, the very, it's just no, in the desert. It's the very first one. Okay. The very first one. It's happening inside. There's like a beach community and things like that. There's some nicer places. Really? Now there are, there's a biker gang that's led by that character, Toe Cutter. Okay. That's kind of plaguing these areas. Hmm. But there are still kind of vestiges of nice communities huh. in place. I wonder if there are any at all in this... Excuse well, me. they talk about that in... Um, uh, Road Warrior, the second one. There's they. There's a group of people he helps. Yeah. And the idea is that they travel beyond the wasteland to get to somewhere safe up north. It's kind of like if the United States, if you had this, if you had a similar saga set in the United States. Yeah. You'd have, let's say, the Outer Banks, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah. I mean, you know, not the show. For my children. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> the, Let's just be clear about but, that. But the place. Um, <laughs> but. You know, like areas like that mm-hmm. that are kind of untouched mm-hmm. by the the heartland of America. Yeah. But you say the Midwest would be hell on earth. Yeah. I'm curious just about the world and, and the whole biosphere. Like, water's hard to come by. We don't really see any any kind of wildlife. What What's ironic about it is... Well, I shouldn't say ironic. What's interesting about it is that they remain in the wasteland. If resources are, this, are so few, mm-hmm. so limited... There's obviously these communities on the fringes where they could raid, but they remain out there. And I wonder, though, is that... like I haven't looked into the lore outside of what I've seen in the films, but yeah. I have to wonder if that's because... Are, is there, are there outside forces militarily? 
Like where they go into uh, these structured settlements, settlements that well, it will push them it, back. It seems like, as far as Dementis is concerned, they they didn't have a anything beyond the region that they're in. They didn't have anything mapped out, really. I well, think. that's what I'm saying. Like, right, they they frame it. At least in my understanding of this world, you have let's say okay, let's say this is Australia, okay, as a continent. Yep. And you have fringes of society. Yep. That are still in place, that you know, remain after the nuclear fallout. Yeah. But everything in here yeah. is madness. Like but the guys... Like if you, it's so bad. Mm. Yeah. Why isn't anybody trying? Let's... Hey, yeah. man. Well, why does we know mean? there's an ocean here. What the fuck are we doing here? And they, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's, the it's, crocodiles it's, keeping them out of there? Like, a, what are they a, doing? It's a bad comparison, but I just think of all these places in the world, like in the Middle East, and it's like, why don't they just get better? They just don't. And, and now we're talking about a world that presumably overall yeah is screwed because nuclear fallout nuclear war has decimated it yeah in, in the beginning when they left the green place um those bikers made it sound like that that is the farthest they've ever gone to mm -hmm. yeah and that's possible so am I, I have to wonder though like how many people now often like i don't know i haven't looked it up yeah but how many people right now in australia reside in central australia i have no idea because i think all of the major cities are oh, yeah. somewhere within the, the coast. Yeah, I think I saw that recently, like on YouTube or something. Yeah, yeah so hmm. as cool as Australia is, from what I know about it, when you're talking about this scenario, mm -hmm. unless maybe they fled to the interior to escape the fallout. If there was a nuclear war, yeah. the major epicenters of populations or military installations were struck. Hmm. Yeah. And they fled to the interior to escape the radiation. Yeah, okay. Which is possible. So, yeah. I don't know. I think the Aborigines would be doing just fine, though. Yeah, because they'd just be doing what they're doing. They'd make the Amish here. They'd keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, the yeah. Amish here would probably just be fine. Yeah. I love learning about um, Furiosa's childhood. She was there. Of course, they opened it up in the Green Place. Um, her picking a peach. I love the Green her, Place. With her sister, Valkyrie. Um, yeah. But, of course, that was devastating and traumatizing whenever she was taken from those hooligans. Yeah, like uh, her mother, I just was rooting. I mean, I knew obviously she had to get separated from her, but I was just really rooting for her. There's so many times I was like, shoot him now. No. Like, you know I, what I mean? I, she was good, though. She, she was a great shot. I mean, she was really. Yeah. I mean, it. I felt like the pursuit of her daughter was awesome. She got her and everything. And then, of course, what happened was traumatizing. And I wonder what. Uh, set his, her on a path of revenge to kill. It did. Yeah, how he Dementis. ended. How he ended in this movie. <laughs> I don't want to see shit like that again. Yeah. Okay, I just don't. <laughs> to me, it almost wraps the movie up in no. a way because it, like... The tree. The, the movie... Yeah. The movie... Like to grown me, out of his <laughs> pecker, you know? Yeah, like... Yeah. Literally right out of that area. Well, yeah, because this movie, it was giving me, like, this cool... movie, And I like Furiosa's backstory a lot. But it was, in many ways, less intense than the previous one. So I'm glad they actually gave me... To me, like, the ending actually almost made me kind of... Uh, I don't say tear up, but it was really getting to me. I thought the performances that they both had towards each other and the dialogue that Good. Dementis had towards her mm -hmm. and her quest for hate mm -hmm. and the futility of it and the cycle of violence that he experienced and mm -hmm. perpetuated onto her, to me, that... And obviously he was successful. Yeah. And because he, she didn't just kill him. Yeah. And he... He's no. literally... He, he, yeah. yeah. He imprinted the violence onto her and... I mean, yeah. I mean, you can definitely say he, he got what he deserved. It was yeah. still unfortunate. Yeah. But I just, I thought that... Unfortunate the, a word for it. Yeah, those last uh, 10 minutes to me just... I feel, like it's more made them, I feel like it's more work than a person's worth. In spite of your Depends vengeance. how much work, I guess, there is. In spite of your vengeance. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... She I, just wanted him to... Well, I get it in terms of the long term and in terms of a script yeah. and making sense of it. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like having to keep a person alive that long just so you can torment them is worth more... It's worth less than just, you know, wiping them off the face of the earth. You know, like the Japanese did. Their family and their lineage. Just everything. If it's just him, then whatever. But yeah. I, I just feel as though we keep him alive that long. Not Yabushige. Yabushige. Yeah, creative ways to kill people, Zach. He did. Yeah. He did. But the idea, though, overall, like the law, like you know, once an insult's been had, Yeah. okay, you, your family and your lineage has got to go. One note I will make. I have not read the comics. Yeah. And recently I've discovered that they exist. I'd like to read them, but I have not read them. Yeah. Either way, the history man. The old man with the tattoos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of a history man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he knew all the words and everything. Yeah, I love the idea that mm -hmm. that Dementis was, you know, 
kind of curious and getting tutored. On Rely, the, on relying the, on him. <laughs> Mystery <Yeah>. Man. <laughs> uh, it kind of mo- honestly reminded me of uh, the book, which I haven't read since grade school, but the movie The Giver with yeah. Jeff Bridges. I love that movie. He was trying to get that made for like 20 years because it was a passion project for him, and he loved it, and he loved it. Bridges? Stuff. Yeah. It's interesting to see how like how human, like, like I, this is a weird way to say it, but how human of a human being he is, but how human he is as an actor, yeah, as a uh, celebrity. Because you look at how he met his wife. I sent you something about that the other day. Yeah, it was a restaurant, right? She was an extra or something like that on the set. Yeah. And he went to meet her and ask her ask her out. And she said, no, not tonight, but maybe later, and then later on. Yeah. And he found out that the guy had photographed them when he first asked her out when she told him no. Yeah. And gave it to him later and said, hey, I thought you might want these. Yeah. That's no, the first instance of him talking to who would be his, become his wife. Yeah. And that was really cool. When you look at what happened with him with... Um, Oh, the big Lebowski. He wore a lot of his own clothes on those sets. Yeah. Dementis' bike, his chariot. Yeah. Evidently, that was lifted from the game. Actually, it wasn't the comics. It was the game. So the same game that Scrotus... Okay. Yeah, so I from. wonder if the, uh, George... It was called the the Demented Chariot, I think. I wonder if George Miller has like a like a, um, a lore Bible and kind of allows people who make like comics and games to kind of... I don't know. I, I did hear he was. I, just to finish my thought, I did hear that he was a uh, critic of the game. Okay. That he actually didn't like it. I mean, it reminded me of a comic book, like a comic book coming to life. His chariot. Well, that, yeah, that's also a... one of the funniest things about his character. <laughs> it's so, um, yeah, it's just so funny. I can't think of the word. It yeah. is to imagine, like, just imagine a human being. Yeah. Putting themselves in a chariot <laughs> yeah. and a motorcycle. We're just motorcycle. like, what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna make it out of motorcycles, mate. <laughs> It's gonna be glorious. Yeah, <laughs> glorious. yes, that was. Yeah, no. It's under authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, undermining his authority. Yeah, yeah, that was bus great. That, that the authority thing was funny that as was hell. So funny. Um, one thing I also liked about this quite a bit, I'd say, more, uh, besides the end, uh, and I think it's because I love the first one so much. My favorite scene was actually kind of that. What, what chapter was it? The action scene when they were on the the stowaway. Yeah, when she, yeah, the stowaway. Mm-hmm. The stowaway, I think, was my favorite chapter oh, yeah, besides yeah. the end. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Um, the action was great and just the purposeful them, savagery. Them coming together and kind of bonding over it, and I thought that was awesome. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he, because um, Petroy and Jack was raised by kind of loving parents, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he, he had a good upbringing. Yeah, his parents reflected. were soldiers. And he, he was, and he, and he, and he was good to Furiosa yep. because of that. He wasn't yep. like a piece of shit. Yep. Okay, I like I said. You got our thoughts? Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, Zach and I are trying to pump out more movies. I'm glad to have all three of us in. It's nice. My best friend and my wife, so it's good shit. Uh, If you guys love us, hopefully you do, check us out on Patreon. We're out of here.